So do y'all know what being equal is? Do, like, do y'all really know what being equal is? I, I looked it up, equality. The state of being equal, especially in status, rights, and opportunities. So I give you, I give you money. Like let's say if I was going out of town, going to another country, I need some more light. Going out of town, going to another country. So I'm gonna trade my dollars in for the equal amount of that currency for another country. So I go and I exchange my dollars. So if I had $10, I, I expect to get the equivalent of the $10 in another country's currency, all right? Now people kind of work a little bit different, all right? So that's the idea, but people, they're not equal. You're not created equal, okay? You're created, some people are created with more advantages than the other. And we all know that. It's, it's nothing to be upset about. We live in a society that is very, very upset when things aren't equal. To live in a society where everything is equal, um, but it's just about this. If you put in the work, you will get the result. We're gonna take a look at Dave Chappelle, bro. How did everybody get so sensitive? Remember, you put in the work, you get the results, man. But let's check this out. Hit the like button, go down work, go down below and subscribe. Let's get started. <laughs> oh my God. But there's a more important reason that I would stop doing comedy right now. And this reason is the real reason that's been percolating and, and it really is the crowd, not you. I'm talking about the crowd on the big stage. It's too hard to entertain a country whose ears are so brittle. Motherfuckers are so sensitive, the whole country is turned into bitch ass niggas. <laughs> hey, but, but off rip, off rip, I support what he's saying, off rip. But do you know at a point in time, in America, being in America, being in other countries, you know, you can go to war with somebody, war. I'm talking about bombs flying, bullets flying, everything. You can go to war with somebody, but you better not question their sexuality. What? What? You just got to understand, bro, this, this country, one of the greatest countries in the world. One of. One of the greatest countries in the world. We got a big melting pot of people, bro. But here's the thing. Everybody getting too sensitive. You getting, you get fat. Somebody said, hey, you look like you're getting fat. You're fat shaming. A woman, she sleeps with too, uh, too many men. You're slut shaming. Cause you called it out. Bro, I'm getting tired. Everybody's turning into a bunch of bitch ass niggas. <laughs> Everything you say upsets somebody. Facts. You know, I can remember when it all started. It was when I was doing Chappelle show. When I was doing Chappelle show, I used to do this fucking goat show, and then on the weekends I do like concerts and shit like that. So I'm doing a concert, and there was a couple in the front row, beautiful couple. The wife, wife was obviously Asian. <laughs> you can see it in her face. <laughs> I swear he has a way, he is a mastermind of jokes, bro. I promise you. <laughs> the husband, this motherfucker was mysterious to say the least. Couldn't quite pinpoint where he was from. Caramel colored fella, very nice hair, but it could have been from anywhere. Bangladesh, Mexico. I can't guess with a nigga like this. All I knew for sure about this guy is that his wife was a bitch. <laughs> I can see that in her face too. No, he was laughing and having a good time and she was scowling at me at a goddamn comedy show. I couldn't figure it out. I don't get it why you go to a comedy show and not expect to be offended. Like, like maybe if it maybe if somebody has a Kramer moment where you just like go in there and you spill racist negative stuff and don't even make it funny, okay. But bro, how would you come to a comedy show and get easily offended by little shit? Just little shit, bro. And then I realized at some point that she was pregnant and I was smoking on stage. I said, oh my God, that's probably why she's mad. So I started to put my cigarette out, but then she hit me with one of them fake non-smoker calls. <coughs> I just kept smoking. I thought to myself, bitch, that babe will be fine. Relax. <laughs> and I tried to break the tension. I just asked her. That's all I said. I go, hey, where are you guys from anyway? And I could tell that she was on to me. She goes, very condescendingly. She says, I'm 
from California. <laughs> if you're asking my ethnicity, I am Chinese. <laughs> and her husband was just cool about the shit. He was like, I'm Mexican, bro. <laughs> See? I said, well, I'm sorry if I offended you by asking, but you're a very beautiful couple. And miss, there's no question that you're going to give birth to the hardest working baby this world has ever seen. Hey, bro, that's a compliment. I don't care what nobody say. That's a compliment. <laughs> it's better than being called lazy, bro. I'll tell you that much. That's not a bad joke. It's not. She got very upset. She got up to leave immediately. But she didn't just leave. She had to take one last dig at me on the way out. I will never buy one of your fucking DVDs again, Dave Chappelle. Okay. I said, ma'am, with all due respect, Chinese people don't buy DVDs. <laughs> hey, bro, I peeped. There was an Asian woman in the back. She was an Asian woman in the back, and she was laughing, bro. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and the crowd went crazy. We were all laughing, having a good time. I didn't even think anything of it. Right. And then... Just three days later, this lady sends a fucking letter to my promoter telling him not to book me for shows anymore because I was, quote, racist. Uh -huh. huh? And, and I'm quoting her, insensitive to the nature of my interracial marriage. So here's the thing, bro, right there. This is the bitch-ass nigga moment. She wrote a letter to the promoter. The promoter that's making money off Dave Chappelle, that obviously knows that Dave Chappelle says the most wildest shit and gets away with it. She's writing a letter. Like it's fucking, like, like, like put your John Hancock down. Like, bro, like it's, the, like it's the 1800s. Oh man, put it in the US Postal Service. It'll get on there, it, it'll get to him by horseback in a, free, in a few weeks. No, nobody gives a fuck. You're writing a letter to a promoter that's making probably hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars off of Dave Chappelle. And to, to stop him from spilling out the best written jokes to some of the sensitive fucking people. And you expect that to work? You expect the promoter to be like, oh my God, she's right. She's right. Take Dave Chappelle down! Cancel him! No, it's not gonna happen. I was like, oh, word, bitch, I was. <laughs> if she had just done a little bit of research, she would know that I myself am in an interracial marriage. That's right. That's right. In fact, my wife is Asian too. Surprise, bitch. I'll see you on Thanksgiving. <laughs> but my wife's not Chinese. Right. She's Filipino. That's right. That's right. And our kids are Puerto Rican somehow. So there you go. <laughs> Hey, bro, she was doing some sneaky shit behind your back, boy. You better watch out. <laughs> well, I don't give a fuck about interracial men. In fact, you know what? My mother is half white. A lot of people don't know that. Well, all right, you were a little too excited, but okay. <laughs> a lot of people don't believe me when I say that, but it's true. You can't tell looking at me. But if I grew my hair out, <laughs> you would think you was at a fucking Cat Williams concert. My shit was... <laughs> My shit is beautiful. This man look like a, a, a little devil in a glass, bro, with his pointy ass ears. Don't get me wrong, Dave Spell, that's my boy, all right? That's my boy. But everybody can get flamed. Anybody can get flamed. What's up? Finna get on your old. Lenny, you having it? But motherfuckers are just taking it too far. I don't know why or how everybody got this goddamn sensitive. You know who hates me the most? The transgender community. Facts. Yo, yeah, these motherfuckers. I mean, I didn't realize how bad it was. These motherfuckers, I was really mad about that last Netflix special. <laughs> you can tell he just doesn't give a fuck, though. It's tough, man. I don't know what to do about it, because cause I like them. I always have. Never had a problem with them. You know, just fucking around. As a matter of fact, I think I make fun of everybody, and... I mean, as a group of people, they have to admit, it's kind of fucking hilarious, man. I'm sorry, bro. It's like, 
I've never seen somebody in such a hilarious predicament not have a sense of humor about it. Yeah, right. They're born feeling like there's something other than they're born as, and that's... That's kind of funny, you know? Like, I mean, it's funny if it's not happening to you. Right. It's like that white black bitch that's in the news all the time. <laughs> Rachel Dozer. <laughs> She always says that. She, 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 she was, she's a white woman, but then she dressed up like a nigga and <laughs> shot her way up to the very top of blackness. That's, that's crazy, bro. If you could think of a woman who, who's straight, she's a white woman, she said, I identify as a black woman, and now she's like being praised by everybody, bro. Come on, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, my thing is, people just need to be they self. Love who you are, bro. Be happy being who you are. Stop always trying to be somebody else. Be happy being you, bro. That's it. And then you'll and you'll start to love yourself more, and then you'll start to grow a little bit thicker skin. If I got if I got offended by everybody that called me the N-word or called me black all the fucking time, to black ass. I, I wear it like a badge of honor. I'm black as fuck! If they give me a tattoo, they probably have to use white ink. Alright? I know this. I'm cool with it. I love that. Be be comfortable being yourself. I'm a straight black man. Be comfortable being yourself. If whoever you are, bro.